Why? Whoa. Oh, hello there, everybody. <clears throat> And welcome to the seventh episode of my own show for the fifth series. Well, viewers, today that we got a very important guest today, uh, which it will be po a polar bear who kept me woken up by a sudden bear. That's me, by the way. Well, that's why but we're going to have Poe at the return of the Poe for all toys today. At Yuko, have you ever heard of Poe? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so, friend. Oh, uh, nor do I. Um, who's Poe then, Dr. Ripper? Well, Poe is the grumpy polar bear who kept me woken up by me and a sudden raccoon. Oh, uh, it's not a great raccoon, is it? Uh, no, that dear Trey. Of course it's not, Chloe. And besides, she's ended up in heaven, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, then. Oh, George, uh, yes, no, but uh, who is this important guest? Well, guys, I'll tell you. It's Poe the Grumpy Poe, the, uh, the one that you woke up as always. Oh. Okay, then. Right. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Right. Okay, then, George. Right. Can we get Poe to come in? Ah, uh, yeah. Sure thing. Hey, Poe, you're back on air again. Oh. Okay. Hi, <sighs> Hello, everybody. Hello there. Do you remember me? Well, I've decided to join um, everyone at the retirement of home for all toys. Well, because I hear um, the retirement of home uh, lets people go to sleep all day. Ooh, uh, that's my kind of style. Woohoo! I must go see them. <laughs> hello there, guys. Oh, hello, Bo. Oh, Fred. Hello there. Oh. Hello, Mr. Bow. Oh, hello there. I'm Binky, and uh, this is Deirdre. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Mr. Bear. Same to you, Deirdre, and same to you, Binky. Ah, oh, okay. Right, come and sit with us. Oh, okay, okay. Right, uh, oh. Oh, uh, do you what, though? I don't think we've got enough room in this chair. Why don't you sit onto George's lap? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, is it alright if I sit on your lap? I, I mean... I can't sit on a chair because there's not enough room. Oh, yeah, that's fine then, Poe. Go on then. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, guys. Now, now, the hair bear, do you remember watching all the three series of Black Adder series? Yeah, I remember from eighth episode. And I also remember finishing the third Black Adder, the third video during the upload. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Because we're going to watch Black Adder Goes Forth with two more episodes, like. Corporal Punishment and Major Star. Oh, that's the two episodes of that one that we need to finish. Yeah, that's right, Nova. Just like we did on Black Adder 2. Oh, yeah. I do that. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that again. So, guys, what are you all watching? Well, we're watching Black Adder goes forth. Oh, Black Adder goes forth. Uh, I don't know of it. This is like a comedy program. Well, it's a comedy program, though. This one. And this one is all about armies and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, this has got Steve the Fright and Hugh Laurie in this one. Shut Fry and Laurie. Oh, yeah, that's my boat. It is. Oh, this episode is called Corporal Punishment. Oh, I see. Alright then guys, now here we go. Now see, there's Black Adder answering the telephone. Oh, and then pretends that, that he's having a bad signal with a telephone. Oh, okay! Oh, I'm looking forward to see for what Black Adder is doing. Oh, so do I, friend. Oh, well that bit's not that funny. Huh. Ah, oh, scrunchy! <laughs> Banging on the telephone! <laughs> <laughs> Play prosperous! <laughs> oh, uh, hang on! Uh, what's that a Mr. Beat voice on Black Adder? Uh, George, what's that Mr. Beat? 
No, no, bear. I think it was only Black Dad that pretended to be Mr. Bean. Oh, oh, and even Arthur would have hated that impersonation. Ah, oh, yeah, I know he would, no, bear. I know he would. Ah, oh, yeah, because I remember for when me and Arthur used to watch Mr. Bean on your recorded DVD. Well, that brings back bad memories for Arthur. But not so for me, though, because I enjoyed that comedy, though. Well, I'm glad you do, Derbear. And anyway, now, see, that's Baldrick giving Black Adder and, um, and, uh, K Kevin, darling, the message about a pigeon. Ah, oh. ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing the pigeon. Alright, Doctor, what happens next? Ah, now, as you see, um, the three guys, uh, Captain Blackadder is about to kill a pigeon. Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Yeah, Blackadder, you really shouldn't do this. Oh, don't worry, dear treat. It's just a comedy. Oh, okay. Oh, look what Captain Blackadder did last night. Oh, oh. Oh, it's all right, dear tree. There's no need to cry. And don't worry about the pigeon. I mean, <clears throat> I did told you it was just a comedy. Mm, but what if it's not a real comedy? I mean, if it's not, I hate this bit. Oh, it's all right, dear tree. It's okay. No need to cry. That's why me and Mickey are always there for you. Isn't that right, Fred? Yeah, that's right, Fred. We sure are. Yeah, it's okay, dear tree. No need to cry. There, there. Be brave, my dear. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Horse boxes will look after you. Won't you, George? Yeah, that's fine, there, there. Oh, what the... What's wrong with dear tree, that, there, there? Oh, because dear tree is crying because she thought that a uh, black and it just killed a pigeon. Oh. Uh, is that the reason why, dear tree? <laughs> what blood on his captain? A pigeon is blood. Oh, right. All right then, Deirdre. Now, come here then. Right, now I'll try and cheer you up then. Okay. Oh. All right then, Nova. Well, at least you get to sit, um, at least poke at it next to you now. Oh, you aren't supposed to, can All right, come on then, Bo. Come and sit with me. Oh, okay. Hi, Robbie. <gasps> Humph. All right, Minky, right, you too. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh. oh, at least I'll get to sit next to Minky and the hair here. All right, then, Deirdre. Well, see, did you're very upset, anyway. Do you want me to massage you? Um, probably on my back, Adrian. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, I'll, I'll carry on pressing the plate now. And then we'll get started. Oh, oh, it's okay, dear tree. There's no need to cry. No need to cry over a comedy. And besides, but I know Black Adder didn't mean to kill the pigeon. Oh, <laughs> but he did mean to kill the pigeon. He's a meanie. Oh, dear tree, he's not meanie. No, of course he's not. And anyway, he's only just killed a bird to sort of make it look like as a bird dinner. You know, a bit like Christmas turkey. I know, because Christmas turkeys is probably the worst things in all of a year. Ah! Oh, it's okay, dear tree. It's okay. No need to cry. There, there. Be brave, my dear. That, it, I know it's very natural, but when uh, most people kill off birds so just for hunting and also for sport. Hey, but it's okay, dear tree. It's okay. No need to cry. Please cheer up, my dear. Okay then, dear tree. If you don't stop crying, cause I'm going to tickle you, so here I am. <laughs> what do you do? Tickling you, of course. Don't <laughs> fix it, stop tickling me. Get off of my bum! Get off of my bum! Well, if you stop crying, then I will go. Oh, hey! Alright, then, dear. Well, I'm glad you cheered up now. Alright, dear, to kill us, then! You dopey boots! I have not dopey!
Hey. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Pronoun problem. Oh, uh, that's quite all right, George. I? Pronoun problem? What? I understand. Oh, uh, I think pronoun problems is usually uh, when Duffy Duck normally just try to get the words all mixed up. Oh, I know that now. Well, did we? Well, I'm glad you've cheered up now. All right then. So, um, what are you going to do to me? Uh, I might think about giving you sloppy kiss. Oh no! All right. Oh, get off! Get off! Get off! Oh my God! I'm going to take a yay. Get off! Get off! <laughs> oh, I really hate Deirdre a bit. Yeah, dirty girl! What are you? Dirty girl? Yes, you burner! I don't know why you have to keep somebody kissing me! Sorry, Mr. Baxter. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Deirdre. Well, it wasn't your fault. Well, it is a bit. Hey, don't worry about Deirdre. Tell you what then, um, I'll let you lie yourself down, just like I used to do on Quebec. Okay. Ooh. All right. Uh, and I suppose I'll do the same thing. <coughs> uh, all right then, guys. Right. Don't worry. I'm giving um dear Trey a little massage on her hand. Yes, yeah, just to help her cheer up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, I guess that not the the, the the general. It's just gone mad with black eye. Let's cut it off a picture. Ah, uh, guys, don't make her upset more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, but now. See, here comes Private Baldrick. Oh, there he is. I wonder what he sounds like in a court. Are you Private Baldrick? No. <laughs> I think should be just Baldrick. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, Baldrick, what a bunch of hell! Alright then, Dirk Deirdre, right, I think I've massaged you more than enough now, so I'll let you sit back for another bear now. So, are you better now? Yes, George, I sure am now. Sorry if I got up so... Mm. Oh, that's quite alright, Deirdre. Oh, ooh! Look at that, Deirdre! I think your eyes on the TV! That's much to Oh, yeah! So it is. Sorry about that. Oh, that's quite alright, Deirdre. Yeah, I'll right, as long as you make a silly noise if you want to. Okay. <laughs> Oh, stop it, Get off me! Oh. You don't be boosted! Uh, there, Drake! For the last time! I love that don't be boosted! Right, go for your hair! Oh! Oh, hello there, Deirdre! Well, I hear you're better now! Oh, yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Oh, it's just because you don't, don't be boosted here. It's not a bit trouble. Oh, don't worry about that, Deirdre. Oh, besides, we've had, me and Mickey have the same problem with George Buxton before. Really? Uh, yeah, but I can see, um, when I just, um, got, when I just got good Buxton to get fired from the last time because she kept, he kept slapping on Koyaku. Ooh! Well, he should get fired, really, shouldn't he? Uh, don't worry, Deirdre, he's not abusing us this time. Are you, George? No, I'm not, Herba. Uh, no, I'm not, Deirdre. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what I want. Well... 
Uh, anyway, folks, so what's the next episode? Well, the next episode is going to be the last one of that video, which is called Major Star. Oh, oh, guys. All right, then, uh, guys. Now, see, we're nearly to the end of Corporal Punishment. Oh, oh, okay. guys. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing the last episode of that video. Uh, is this going to be the last one on part one? Yeah, that's right, uh, that it is. Oh, oh I'm looking forward to finishing two more episodes on that one. Just got like we did on Black out of a Third. Ah, and here we go. And that's the end of that episode. Well, thank goodness for that. All right, then, Dawson. Will there be another magical event? Ah, wait and see, though. But now, if you come over to my knee now. Yeah, excuse me, minute, dear. Ow! All right, then, right now. Can you hear the music? Well, I can hear the black other thing. Hmm, but I can't hear anything, yeah. Well, I must well enjoy the end credits in the meantime. Ah. Well, Black Goddess, I salute you. Well, that was right. Right, so can we pause it now? Ah, uh, yeah, sure thing. All right. Now, can you hear the music now? No. Huh? Yes, I can hear the music, so that means it's time for another magical event, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Time for another one. Ooh. Okay, then. Uh, and I don't think post coverage is, is, is she? Is he? No, he isn't. Now, because this is his first day today, so because he wants sleep, we'll just um, let him off. Oh, okay, then. Right, come on, Vicky. And you, Deirdre. Right, we're, we're going over to the magical event. Ooh, I like magical events. Come here, Mr. Bear. Yeah, see me, friend. Well, see you later. <laughs> right, and I'm coming to do you, my lovely. <laughs> All right, then. No, right, I'll let you just sleep for over that one. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, right, come on, guys. Hey, let's have a look out the window to see what's happening today. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Ooh. And I'm coming to me, lovely. Woohoo! Ooh. Guys, well, I guess we got another magical event going. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, Fred. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what's outside. Hmm, I wonder if there's any of those trees in the garden. Well, I don't know. The magic tree looks very lovely. Yeah, Savia, especially the white doves. Did you like it, Binky? Yeah, of course I like it, my dear. Yeah, I especially like when the leaves keep falling off the Tree. Uh, yeah, I guess that's why it's called the magic tree. Uh, yeah, it's a pity that that tree's just gone away. All right then, guys, let's go back to the chair now, shall we? Yeah, good idea, Fred. Right, you first, Mickey. Okay. Come on, then, Deirdre. Let's both walk together. Okay, well, my darling. Woo. <laughs> well, see you back up at the time of the Yeah, same here. <sighs> Come on, there, Beth. Yeah, you can go back too. Well, as long as you're alright. Alright, well, see you later, viewers. <gasps> alright, viewers. Hmm, I wonder how no hair bear and his friends are getting off looking at a magical event. Well, it seems that that Poe was asleep. I must be grab his leg. <gasps> oh, no! oh, yeah. I forgot that the chair was not that far for me to fall. Oh, I wonder who could have put me down. Uh, it's all right, Po. Yeah, don't worry. We're back now, so you can just sit on my lap now. All right. Oh, all right, no, Beck. Right, you can sit down now. Okay. Oh. And I'm gonna call you, Mr. Bear. Woo. And I'm coming too. Oh. And I'm going to call you next when I'm ready. <laughs> don't worry, Po. Yeah, we're all back now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry if I didn't want to join in. Oh, that's quite all right, because since you, you are sleepy as polar bear ever, I thought your bastard might let you off. Ah, oh. all right, then. All right, dear Roach. Ah, oh, you're quite welcome, Poe. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, guys, so here we go in the last episode, as promised. Major Star. Ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing the last one. Oh, and plus, guys, it's got Gabriel Glaister as Driver Park Hurst. Oh, ooh, definitely looking forward to that. All right, then, guys, so here we are. We're on to the last episode of this video now. Oh, okay, Brad. 
Yeah. Okay, Fred. Oh, okay. Uh, no help. Oh, okay. Uh, no help. Oh, and of course, that guys, um, Black Adder's uh, new thingies are already being used for target practice when the Russian Revolution produces two more appalling results an offensive by Germany and a really offensive Charlie Chaplin impersonation by Baldrick. Ah! Oh, oh, offensive Charlie Chaplin person! Uh, I got a bit. Uh, I hope it's not the one with the paw backwards. No, and anyway, they already got fingers, so they're not going to do finger backwards or anything like that. And uh, besides, the first part was only rated PG. Oh, but good choice. Oh, yes. And this is Penny the second part. Only has rated 15 certificate, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but see, you get PG in part 1 first, then part 2 for 15. Oh. Alright, guys, now see, that's Driver Parkhurst on the left. Oh. Also known as Bob. Now, Hair Bear, do you remember on the first episode of Black Alpha when, um, Edmund, um, first met, um, a lovely young lady, uh, or a young boy named Bob? Yeah. Well, this one is a driver because this is called Bob Puckhurst. Oh, uh, hang on. Is it Bobby, perhaps? Yeah, that's right. It is Bobby. Oh. Ooh. Look at that, though. Uh, oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, well, I don't like ladies. And besides that, you pray, I don't even like ladies. Uh, no offense to you, Deirdre. Not take a bow. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> what, why does the Bob come say, yes sir, and, aha! Ah, cricket! Giraffe! I, well I didn't know Bobby has her brothers. Yep, and she's in for a real treat. It's for soul in store. Ah, battle helmets. Ah, uh, hang on. Was that the ones that you used during the battle? Yeah, that's right, because if a bullet gets onto your head, there's always a battle helmet around that you might need to bring it with you when you go out to war. Ah, okay. Oh, twerps? Uh, George, are you a twerp? I am not. Ow! Sorry, George. Oh, yes! The best one, Your Honor. Ah! Here we go! Oh, is... Oh, Jake, it's a bit, um... Ah, but it's a good thing there's no figure backwards this time. And I think he was just pretending to be Charlie Chaplin. Ah! I knew that! Alright guys, now see, hmm, here's that man, can you the ticket, is it that, yes, oh yeah, so it is, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 Was that the one that did, um, fireworks night? Yeah, that's right. The one that does fireworks night. Ah, oh, I see. That was your fiance. Ooh! Fiance! Who wants to see me? If I should die, think only this of me. I'll be back to get you. Yikes! Well, that's not normal, is it, George? No, it isn't, Herbert. No, I don't worry. Black Adam is just pretending that he nearly got killed in a war. Oh. Alright guys, now see, that's the end of the episode of Major Star, and also the end of this video for real. Oh, okay! Well, I'm glad that's the end of that one. That was good.
wasn't it, guys? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, see me up, Fred. All right, George. Yeah, I think we're all want. I think I want to go to bed now. All right, but after I showed you this globe. Ah, who well, is this one? Uh, 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 I believe, though, that is the BBC Video Globe. Oh, is that what, what do you like? Yep. Oh, very interesting, bro. All right, then. Well, I better go over to bed now. Well, good night, guys. See you soon. And see you next week. Oh, see you next week, Bo. See you next week, Bo. Yeah, see you next week, Fred. Okay. Well, bye-bye, viewers. See you hopefully again soon. Goodbye. <laughs> um. Alright, you two. Well, I'll put you two straight into bed then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright then, you two. But well, I'll put, put, put you into bed now. Well, you two. Well, good night then, uh, you two. And especially good night to you, dear tree. But I'm also glad you're happy again. Come here, you. Thank you, Mr. Buxton. Yeah, thank you very much, Fred. Alright then, dear tree. Let's go and have sex. Yeah, good night, you. Well, I better leave you to, to, to <coughs> Well, it's goodbye from Deirdre and Minky. All right. Well, it's just me and her hair there, obviously, now. So I'll let him have one last look at the BBC Video Globe logo just before I take the tape out. All right, then, you know her best, right? It's just yourselves now, so you can have a look at the Globe logo before I take the tape out. Okay! Boom! Oh, looking forward to seeing the Globe. Uh, again. But it'll be the close one, yeah? Yeah, that's right. On this one. Very well. <laughs> well, that's very good. All right, I'll take that out for you then, George. Oh, thank you very much, sir. All right, well, good night then, George. See you in the morning. Well, see you in the morning, an old friend. Right, and I suppose I better say goodbye as well. Bye bye everyone. Bye. Right, I better take that out now. Bye bye.